this is a coin, this is a coin, and indeed this is a coin, and we're going to create quick and dirty photoreal models of these entirely in Blender. Some of the steps we'll be going through could be made easier with photo editing programs like Photoshop, GIMP, Inkscape, Steam, or Minecraft, but we're not going to use those and instead go for the Blender-only workflow. What you're going to need is a coin, a camera, this can be your phone by the way, the newest version of Blender, some experience with Blender, some time to spare, and a attention span longer than the length of this video. Once you've gathered all those things together, you can continue this tutorial in 3, 2, one. I'm going to show you the workflow using this quarter, but the process is the same for almost any coin. So what you want to do is open up Blender, annihilate the default cube, and replace it with a cylinder. Resize this to match the dimensions of your coin, which you can either eyeball or explicitly measure, and then apply object transform to normalize the cylinder. We now have our mesh which is looking flat shaded, so toggle over to smooth shading, which instantly brings our cylinder from a 5 to like an 8.5. This is before makeup, this is after makeup, this is max users, this is Blender users. To get rid of this beautiful shading, go to normals and enable auto smooth. When you're done with that, whip out your coin, whip out your camera, whip out your chick, and take photos of both sides of the coin, and also a photo of the rim, making sure that your camera's angled from head on and that you're using even lighting conditions. The better these photos are, the better the results are. Send these photos over to your computer and then open the compositing workspace in Blender. We want to combine all three photos into a single photo, and that's going to require a lot of nodes, so the weak world of you can now retreat to Photoshop, GIMP, Inkscape, Steam, or Minecraft, but for the rest of you, buckle up, pay attention, get ready, and we'll continue in 3, 2, 1. Choose a resolution for when we render and import all your photos as separate image nodes scaled to fit relative to our render resolution. Overlay these on top of each other by adding some alpha over nodes and connect our node graph to the viewer. To put our photos side by side, add in some translate nodes and change the x and y values until everything fits nicely. Connect the graph to the composite node, choose some export settings, and finally render out the image so we can save this merged photo. So just to review, we have a 3D model, we have what is essentially a combined texture, and now we want to apply this texture to our model in some quick and dirty way to get photorealistic results. Of course, the realism is not only dependent on the material we make, but also also on how we light it. We're going to work on the lighting first and then bring our focus back to creating the material. Now don't stress out about this lighting step because it's actually really easy. Go to a website like HDRI Haven that offers free HDRIs and get whichever environment you want. I downloaded this one but I could have easily used this one, this one, this one, or any of these instead. In Blender, go to the shading workspace and toggle over to the world node graph. Here you want to add an environment texture node with the HDRI you downloaded and connect that to the background. Go over to rendered mode and switch to cycles to see what this environment looks like and when you're over it enable film transparency to hide it. To create the material, add in an image texture node with the combined texture and connect this to the color socket of the principled BSDF node. Note that this image texture node is using UV coordinates so we can just edit our UV unwrap until everything lines up. This doesn't need to be perfect or anything, but you should spend a bit of time doing this. Some other things we can do to make our material more realistic is bump up the metallic since coins are made of plastic, bring down the roughness since coins aren't shiny at all, and create a non-color data duplicate of our image texture node fed through a bump node going into the normal socket since coins are perfectly flat and aren't bumpy at all. To control this normal map, we can add in a color ramp node with some tweak settings and play with our bump intensity to get more realistic results. This is a pretty rough way to do normals, but no one's really looking that closely and will easily get away with it. And there you go, a slowly paced beginner friendly tutorial on how to make a 3D coin all inside Blender. I hope the beginners found this easy, the intermediate users didn't remove their blindfolds, and the advanced users didn't have too much trouble doing this tutorial entirely in Python. If you enjoyed this tutorial, consider donating to my Patreon, which funds more tutorials like these and tutorials that are actually more slowly paced. But I've been CG Matter, you've been you and I'll see you in the next one.